Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have the pleasure, the extreme pleasure, to show and introduce you to the Artback 25 years. Um, a little disclaimer up front, uh, the, this bottle we've bought ourselves, this little sample bottle here, we got from our supplier. So this is kind of a sponsored video. Kind of, kind of. Yeah. You do not have to open the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, the the bottle, the Artback 25. If you follow the whiskey.com news, you already know this is a new standard bottle for Artback. But I guess in the first year it will have <laughs> such a huge demand, despite the high price, that it will be sold out. Pretty sure. Yeah, definitely. And uh, there had been a bottling of art back called the lord of the isles 25 years of age and then was the time in the mid and mid 90s where the future of art back was very very uncertain and it was then sold and then they started to produce i think in 1999 they started so we're now 22 years into production so I think the first three years would be very difficult to get mm. bottles off. And uh, I will look at the bottle to see if there is some, some bottling date uh, or uh, a vintage on it so uh, that those bottles might be more expensive with the collectors. Yes. So this is a metal housing uh, and there is a click opening. Click the top. And here we have the bottle, shiny, silvery, and is there the energy per 100 milliliters, <laughs> energy per 30 milliliters, that's nearly a dram. But here we see it, 2020, Does it bottled have 2020 on August it? 20th, 2020. So this will be uh, a chance to distinguish uh, bottles from the years so the box will stay so the box probably will stay <laughs> and do you have there's a barcode in the bottom is there more no nope. there's not more no. yeah 46 percent abv so this is a standard bottle no cast strength of course the amount of available cast will be very very small. yeah that will be the problem <clears throat> it's it's valued it's said to be <clears throat> around a thousand there, there will be probably tons of resellers that have a look at the arbitrage and yeah. they will sell it <laughs> at the usual prices for 1200 1400 and I would not recommend it because there are also scammers on the way that uh, take the whiskey for themselves and just give you something else. Yeah. So this is 46% ABV and Dr. Bill Lumsden had uh, selected the CAS, but I think there was not many cars to be selected from, uh, so but he tasted it and, and gave some uh, tasting notes. And uh, the tasting notes are here on the back, but shall I read it first and then we taste, or shall we taste it first and then read it? I think we'd, we taste it first. First, yes, yeah. that's more realistic, isn't it? <clears throat> and here you see a, a uh, an open, uh, a filled glass, so What's missing here is in this because we took, take, took a picture and mm -hmm. like to have the exact color, uncolored whiskey, uh, which is in the bottle to be in the glass. So that with a picture, you're able to see that. <laughs> 25 usually, years. Usually you told me uh, if you want to have uh, the sweetness of, uh, I think you even mentioned Artback in a whiskey, then sniff the glass on the next day because this is the, the picture I took yesterday. and let it stay uh, on the, the shelf for a day and uh, it's sustained. But I think that's just because uh, there is so much whiskey in the glass that yeah. No, it's typically uh, you should empty. Empty the glass and then let it stay. Yeah, that yes. was the one. <laughs> so, but so, here but we can see if it develops over the, over the night. Yeah, if it, and, and you do, do this rubber uh, around to market <laughs> to market, <laughs> and I don't uh, confuse it with any other glasses that <laughs> might come around here. Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah, it's different from the smoke. 
Mm -hmm. It's I think I think this one is maybe maybe I just mm -hmm. it might as well be that it's just more it gives more pressure yeah. more aromas. Okay. No, I don't think so. That yeah, they it's, uh, it's similar. changed a lot. No. And this is, there's a reason for it, because if you have a whiskey resting for 25 years in a cask, mm -hmm. then the cask is uh, is letting the air going in and out, and presses the air out and sucks it in. So there is oxidization going on in that art bag. But if I smell this, it's astonishingly smoky compared mm -hmm. to other older uh, smoky whiskey, which just gain complexity and lose smoke. This one still has a lot of smoke. Probably not the 45 or 50, or at least 40. Mm -hmm. so this is still hefty. There's a light, sweet note in it, as we know it from Artbeck. Little any seed beside that. And, well, a lot of smoke. And behind this sweet fruitiness, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this big box. This big box. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's wonderfully smoky. Yes, it has a little lemon touch to it, so it it, mm -hmm. it is a bit fresh. So at the first whiff, I wouldn't have um, thought this was an old whiskey, but um, it's surprisingly smoky and fresh for an old whiskey. So I. I would have probably confused it in a blind tasting with a younger whiskey. But uh, I, I guess it will be total turnover in what, what, are, uh, what we have in taste. Yeah. What do we have in taste? Um, <clears throat> this is typically, I would say, 25 years with such a light golden color. I think there's, there are really a lot of refill casts mm. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> That's hitting you. <clears throat> well, so there's a lot of oak in it. There's ginger on your tongue, a lightly peppery note, tar. How it's called? Sooth. Yeah, extremely. So this is complex, deep, and a little bit cladding your mouth. The smoke stays with your with your tongue. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste not too intense. No, mm -hmm. not too intense. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. It's incredibly intense for for twen uh, 25 years. Mm. You realize you have an old whiskey in your mouth because it's just much rounder than the other ones, but the intensity of the um, smokiness, the pepperiness, and all the different variants of smoke. As you said, you said tar, and maybe I say ash and tar, and also a little bit of a, a ham note going on. So it's a, a wonderful, complex, deeply matured, smoky whiskey. I like it. Yeah, and here's the official mm -hmm. saying on the back. <clears throat> it's a whiskey of the most rare and precious kind. Majestic aromas of smoked cream and earthy bonfires are masterfully interwoven with layers of pine and fragrant candle wax. That candle wax I hadn't had, uh, mm -hmm. but these bonfires, yes, it's more bonfire uh, than these smoldering hospita hospital mm -hmm. uh, phenolic, more bonfire. Hot pepper twists, yes, that was the first Definitely. impact in the taste. Brown sherbet, lemon, yeah, mm. sweetness, well, sweetness, and hints of carbolic soap and tar. Oh. <laughs> carbolic soap, I don't know what that is, it was before my time. <laughs> While the aftertaste is characterized by delicate aniseed entwined with lingering cream and fudge. Yeah, the aftertaste is not too, too harsh not too demanding. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
We had a flavor um, from the opened glass, not much different. Maybe a bit lighter, maybe that's just because it's the third tip and I just mm -hmm. got a bit used to it. But it, what I find remarkable is that pepperiness, yes, that hot hotness, pepper. hot yeah. pepper. Mm -hmm. That is remarkable for a 25 year old. That is, um, you don't find that very often in, in older whiskies. In older whiskies, you typically go over to, to mm -hmm. those bitterness, to these coffee aromas. Mm -hmm. And this is different, yes. And I think I, it's just refill bourbon or re, 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 refill sherry. This is just, it doesn't have much of that dried fruit is actually not at all, I would say. The, the lemon should be the, the cereal character mm -hmm. and the fruity, uh, the fruity touch of the yeast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would say <clears throat> the, the cask is a little bit in the background and the maturity, the age, the oxidization is more in, in the foreground. Where that peppery touch comes from beats me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, this is the end. <laughs> this is uh, a wonderful whiskey from Artback and it should be there, I think, from 2024 on, on a very regular basis <laughs> because uh, uh, it was, was, was called Stuart, was the former distillery manager then, Stuart something. Uh, he will have put cask aside for the 25 year old so mm -hmm. there will be casks available then uh, <clears throat> I haven't I have been to some warehouses at Artback when we flew mm -hmm. into the distillery by helicopter wonderful there's a video online where you can see our flight to Isla and landing in the distillery it was wonderful we had looked inside but uh, we haven't seen those old casks I think they have moved them to a place where nobody comes to so they rest in peace yeah okay yes yeah that was it thank you very much for watching if you have a look for this whiskey today might be out there you might get it but you have to open your pocket very deep or you have to be very very fast to uh, catch it from the original sellers yeah that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time